Look what's dropped on my desk. Look at the size of these things. These are the Crucial X9 Pro and X10 Pro SSDs. And look at my Apple AirPod. Look at the size of this thing. It's pretty much exactly the same size. How good is this? Now this is not incredible for obviously us creators and SSDs is one of those things that you just, you have to trust because all your work is on this, especially if you are traveling, all your work is on this. Now I've got two of these. So when I actually do travel, I do back up my footage just in case. And majority of the time I actually take a whole bunch of my type A cards and SSDs and still keep some of the files on there rather than formatting them just in case, you know, it's triple backup. There's even backups on my computer computer so uh, that's one thing that you have to trust now obviously I do have to mention that crucial did send this one through for me to take a look at but uh, being a creator SSDs are incredibly important so we're gonna be looking at obviously what these things offer what they compare to and yeah obviously the size these things are just incredible let's get into the video What's going on my friends? I hope you're all doing fantastic. And now I will tackle this as a content creator. I'm not a complete computer nerd and know the full specs and details of this. I just wanted to show you how this is going to fit in my workflow and pretty much what this thing is about and why you may want to actually purchase this. You know, is, is it worth your money? But anyway, let's talk about the specs of this thing. So the X9 Pro and the X10 Pro are portable SSDs. It has read and write speeds of up to 1,050 megabytes per second. And the X10 Pro has up to 2100 megabytes per second with read speeds and 2000 megabytes per second in write speeds. They come in really rugged small bodies and only weigh 37 grams for the X9 Pro and 42 grams for the X10 Pro. It has an IP55 water, dust and sand resistant build. It comes in a capacity of one terabyte, two terabytes or four terabyte hard drives. Compatible with Windows, Mac, Android, iPad, PC and Linux. It also comes with a password protection and 256-bit AES hardware encryption to help protect private data. You can get the crucial 1TB X9 Pro for 79 US, the 2TB for 129 US, or the 4TB for 239 US. And in the X10 Pro series, the 1TB is 119 US, the 2TB is 169 US, and the 4TB is 289 US. Now, one of the most interesting things is I did put this up against this HDD drive. And uh, obviously, look at the size of the Crucial X9 Pro. It is so much smaller. And obviously, HDD has a spinning disk inside. So it is mostly recommended not to use HDD drives uh, when you actually do traveling. And SSDs are usually recommended and much more reliable uh, than HDD drives because it's just a chip inside with a whole bunch of components on it rather than a spinning disk. And you do not want your file files to completely corrupt, especially if you are traveling and on a job and you lose everything. That would be a complete nightmare. But look at the speeds that you actually get between the HDD drive and the SSD. And obviously you do have to make sure it is plugged into a 3.2 uh, gen port because that's pretty much where the speeds come from. Now I did plug this into just a regular um, USB-C port on the front, which I think is US 3.1. Uh, and the speeds obviously weren't as high. I got about you know 600 megabytes per second but if I did plug it into the back of my computer with the 3.2 gen port, that's where I got the speeds of, you know, up to a thousand megabytes per second. Now, I also did test this on my MacBook Pro, which is the M1 chip, and the speeds were incredibly fast on that thing. And uh, that is important to me because the MacBook Pro is the one that I take on jobs on location. Obviously, I can't take my PC anywhere with me because it's obviously too large. I've got three massive screens. So the MacBook Pro does come with me so I did test it on there and I'm so happy with the speed and performance of this thing obviously as opposed to this HDD drive now this one was going to take way too long to copy a 100 gigabyte project over it was painful to watch and like just the varying speeds of this thing isn't that great now with this test, I actually used a different brand SSD, two terabyte one. Everyone knows this brand, but I'm not gonna mention it in this video, but uh, you can see the results are pretty good, but it does vary. It, uh, it was plugged into that 3.2 Gen 2 USB-C and it just, it sort of fluctuated when it came to copying that 100 gig file. It just didn't reach constant speeds like the X9 Pro. Sure, it did reach the speeds at certain points, but it just, uh, it couldn't hold it. 
Now, just a bit of background on Crucial. They did have the X8 in, I think it was 2019, and that was much larger for an SSD. And then in 2020, Crucial released the X6 was slightly smaller, uh, especially for the amount of you know storage that you can actually get in this. And obviously they've released the X9 Pro and the X10. Now the X10 is faster than this, but the biggest differences between the X9 and the X10 is that read and write speeds. And obviously this is like a gunmetal silver, and the X10 is like a black color, which is cool. But they are exactly the same size. But let's talk about the build quality of this thing. And one of the most interesting things is that this is IP55 water resistant, which is amazing because who knows, if you're gonna get a bit of splash of water, if you're gonna get some dust on this, you do want to make sure that this thing can handle it. And uh, that is great that it does have that IP55 rating and it is also drop shock and vibration proof. Now I did look at the piece of paper and it did say 1500 G RMS, which apparently is some sort of speed with acceleration and a whole bunch of mathematics and physics and I don't understand it. But, uh... And if you can decipher a whole bunch of this stuff, then you're doing amazing because I can't. But what I did get out of that is uh, up to seven and a half feet or two meters you can drop this from and it should be perfectly sleet. So don't drop it off the top of a building. I mean, that's pretty crazy. I mean, you probably could, but I'm not going to test it on this because uh, I don't want to wreck it. I'm still using it. I've got files on here, so... Don't want to drop it from that. Now, one thing that I haven't really used before is the password protection, which is a 256-bit AES hardware encryption. And that is really good, especially if you are taking this on a job and someone tends to take it and wants to try and take a whole bunch of your NDA stuff or things that aren't meant to be released, they can't get into it. So that is really good. But I've never used that before. But hey, it is there if in case you do actually need that. So another cool thing about this, it pretty much is already formatted directly out of the box. Now, when I opened it up onto my Mac, it already said XFAT uh, when I opened up onto my PC as well. XFAT, it was already formatted, ready to, to use straight out of the box. Now, when it comes to the design, it does have a lanyard hole here, which you can actually put it on a lanyard, put it on your keys if you really want to. But inside that lanyard hole, that actually has the LED sort of light to make sure that obviously it is working and it is plugged in. Um, and also with this sort of rugged design, it's got these little indents on the side to make it easier to pick up is what they said to make it easy to pick up but I mean it is small it's compact it's pretty easy to pick up anyway but if it is on a desk it does make it slightly easier I guess uh, and at the bottom here is that you have this nice sort of non-slip rubber surface this is the one thing I really really like because when I do have it plugged into my Mac and I sort of walk around a bit, I literally place this on top of my Mac while it's plugged in and then just walk around while my Mac's, you know, nice and uh, parallel to the ground and it doesn't slip and slide anywhere. But I mean, if you really want to, you can just attach some Velcro onto the back of here and then Velcro onto the back of your Mac and then just sort of stick it to your Mac if you really want to do it that way. But it is welcome that it does have this sort of grippy surface. So now when it comes to the size, this is only 37 grams that is incredible whereas the airpods case itself is 61 grams and when it comes to the size this is 65 by 50 by 10 millimeters whereas the airpods case is slightly bigger or thicker it's 60 by 45 by 21 so it is slightly thicker as you can see and when it comes to just like a regular portable hdd they can be pretty much twice as thick thick as these hard drives as well. Now, if you do actually have a really fast 3.2 Gen 2 USB-C uh, connection, that's going to be paired with this absolutely amazing. And you can pretty much directly edit off this if you really wanted to. If you want to you know, like directly edit off the hard drive, the obviously the X10 is going to be faster because you do have faster read speeds. Um, when it comes to write speeds, you probably won't notice too much of a difference. You'd probably save yourself 30 seconds or something if it comes to like a 100 gigabyte sort of file. But, you know, sometimes in those situations, time does actually matter. If you are on set and you want to quickly back up a, an SD card or a type A card, type B card, this is where this thing comes in a massive advantage because you can literally back it up straight away give the card to the DIT, and then, or generally you're probably the DIT, aren't you, when it comes to backing up drives, but you give it back to uh, the first AC or cinematographer and they can pretty much start recording straight away. And one of the massive things when it came to film school is that we used the Ari Alexas and writing to the computers took so 
long. And obviously we had to wait until we backed up three hard drives. The teacher literally made sure that we had three hard drives per project because what their concept is, is that you have one hard drive that goes from, to one person, another hard drive goes to another person, and obviously the third hard drive goes to another person. So if one hard drive fails or burns, gets in a crash, you've still got two other hard drives. So backing up your footage is extremely important. And if you are trying to write to three really slow HDDs, it's gonna take forever. And at the end of the shoot, like that's one thing, you just want to wrap and go home. It could be 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. and you just wanna wrap up, go home. But that's where fast SSDs come in handy, that's for sure. So overall, the link will be in the description below if you do wanna check out these crucial hard drives. Uh, they obviously, they do come recommended from me, but don't take my word for it. There's plenty of other videos out there that will give you know positive reviews as well. I've had no issues with the weeks of using this and I trust SSDs all the time. I know there's a couple of brands out there that are having issues with SSDs that's floating around. Thankfully, it's not crucial, <laughs> so that is a good thing. Um, but yeah, the link, like I said, will be below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.